The doctor who was with Michael Jackson at the end of his life has now hired a lawyer, and tonight he is again speaking to police. Dr. Conrad Murray's lawyer stressed that he is not a target of the investigation, but friends of the Jacksons say the family is suspicious of the doctor and want to know more about the injection Jackson received before his heart stopped. There are reports tonight that the family is requesting a second autopsy now. We begin with Brian Rooney outside the Jackson home in Encino, California tonight. The Jackson family was meeting here today at the family home discussing funeral arrangements, and the Los Angeles police say they're preparing for a massive crowd. This morning, two moving vans arrived at Jackson's rented mansion in the Holmby Hills section of Los Angeles. His sister Janet pulled up in a Bentley a while later. But the focus of attention now is this man, Dr. Conrad Murray, a cardiologist who investigators say gave the singer a shot of the painkiller Demerol shortly before his heart stopped. The police were scheduled to talk to Murray in Los Angeles today, but his Houston lawyers say he's not considered a criminal suspect. Dr. Murray's uh, grieving for the loss of uh, Mr. Jackson, as millions of people around the world are, but he wasn't only uh, Mr. Jackson's physician, he was also his friend. Jesse Jackson said he spoke to the family and they're suspicious of the doctor. When did the doctor come? What did he do? Did he inject him? If so, with what? Murray is a 1989 graduate of Mahari Medical College in Nashville. Court records say he has more than $400,000 worth of legal judgments against him. The promoter of Jackson's 50 concert London comeback said the singer had insisted that the company hired Dr. Murray to be his personal yes, physician. Is. Randy Phillips talked about Jackson's health during a press conference when the opening concert was delayed. And not that I'm a doctor, okay, <laughs> but my, my, like I said, I would trade my body for his tomorrow. He's in fantastic shape. A senior law enforcement official tells ABC News that Jackson was heavily addicted to OxyContin and Demerol, but toxicology tests could take up to six weeks. Now, all day long, well-wishers have gathered outside the Jackson family home in Encino, California, leaving flowers and messages. We're told the family does want a second autopsy performed, but so far, all we know for sure, David, is that the body has been released to an undisclosed mortuary. All right, Brian Rooney starting us off tonight. Brian, many thanks. And we're joined now by our medical editor, Dr. Timothy Johnson. And Tim, as you heard Brian just report there, this notion of a second autopsy being requested by the family, there's speculation the family thinks it can get the results more quickly this way. But is is that truly the case? Probably not. Actually, an autopsy occurs in two phases. The first part is the visual examination of the body, and then when the body is open, the removal of organs, tissues, fluids for further testing. And that second phase is indeed the testing that takes place over many weeks. It's possible it could be speeded up somewhat, but not by much. So I think they're probably concerned basically to get a second opinion more than anything. And Tim, as we went on the air tonight, we learned that the doctor was in fact in that ambulance on the way to the hospital that day. He's been questioned now a second time. What does that tell you about the timeline they're trying to put together? Well, obviously the doctor is vital to the timeline in the final hours. When did he see Mr. Jackson? Uh, when did he give him any medications? Or did he see Mr. Jackson take medications on his own? Uh, what kind of symptoms occurred? prior to his collapse or when he stopped breathing? What was the timeline between the time he stopped breathing and any medical attention arrived? How long was he doing CPR? All of those questions are extremely vital, both for medical information and I'm sure for the investigation. And with just a few moments left, Tim, how common is it a second autopsy? It's not at all common in routine medical care. It probably occurs more often in criminal cases, but even then, it's not very common. All right, Dr. Timothy Johnson, as always, we appreciate it, Tim.